Hi there, welcome to chendu.org. In this short video presentation, I would like to show you how to create an interactive sales chart. This is a chart that I uh, I prepared after looking at a looking at an inspiring design uh, in the Good Magazine, but the design that they made had some flaws, so I fixed them up in this chart. Before even showing you how this chart works, let me show you the Good chart that that I have used as an inspiration. So here is a website called good.ease um, and what they do is they, uh, as, you, as you can see from their website, a graphical exploration of data that surrounds us. So that's how they describe themselves. And from time to time, they publish some visualizations that help us understand what is going on in the world around us. So in this particular graphic, what they're trying to show us is how the political climate in US has been over the last several years. So every year there is a, uh, there is a, I think a non-governmental organization called Pew Research Center. And what they do is they survey people from time to time and they get the pulse of things from these people. For example, every now and then they would survey people to find out how important it is for them uh, on various factors, like how, uh, how important the economy is, how important the jobs are, how important ter terrorism, social security, education, or any of those things are. And that is from 2001 to 2010, they have such data. And you can see that for all Americans, economy seems to be a very uh, important issue uh, in 2010. Uh, and if you compare that with jobs, that is the second priority. So this is an interactive chart, meaning that you can change any of these. So I can click a different year and I can see how these parameters have rated in that year. For example, healthcare seems to be quite an important issue in 2008 uh, compared to 2010. Uh, whereas in 2001, probably the priorities are different. Maybe there was a lot of focus on crime, economy and education. In 2004, uh, the priorities are like this. And you can also slice this information by Democrats versus Republicans. So you can see how Democrats rank on these parameters vis-a-vis -vis Republicans. That is, out of the surveyed participants, how people with Democratic orientation uh, versus Republican orientation consider. For example, Republicans seems to think uh, terrorism is very important on their scale. In 2004, if you go to 2010 again, they are very focused on terrorism, whereas Democrats would probably uh, rank higher on issues like healthcare, education, economy, jobs, things like that. Now, uh, it doesn't stop here. For example, I can pick one issue like jobs and I can see how all the three sets, that is all Americans, Democrats and Republicans have ranked on uh, that particular aspect over the years. So this is uh, quite an interactive chart. You can you can play with it. Of course, it is uh, it has a lot of visual thing going on, so it looks very pleasant to the eyes. But in my opinion, this chart kind of fails in a couple of places. Um, of course, this is a very good chart. I have no uh, doubts about it. But there are a couple of things that can still be improved. One of them being this uh, radar kind of chart. It doesn't really work. It is very difficult to read and you cannot compare one with another very easily. So a, tip, a regular column chart would have been a lot better for comparison because then you can see one, uh, one height with another and you can easily make out what is what. And that, that, is, that is about it. Of course, uh, all the other things like if I select something, these lines animating, that's just uh, for the sake of... Uh, you know, we adding some present uh, uh, jazz or wow factor to the this layer, whereas it doesn't really help with our data or understanding. So what I wanted to do is challenge myself and create something similar in Excel. Uh, but for this circular part, I have replaced that with a column chart. Let me first demonstrate what I have done and then I will explain how it has been developed. So this is what I call as an interactive sales chart. I have chosen sales data versus this kind of political data because um, Good Magazine has a lot of employees who would go to Pew Research Center website and collect this data that is spanning several years. Whereas I didn't have so much time to go through all the data files from 2001 to 2010 in Pew website and collect the numbers myself, clean them up and then feed to Excel. So I've used a typical data set that we are all familiar with, which is sales data. What we have is 
uh, for 10 years, uh, sorry, 11 years starting 2001, we are selling a couple of products. We sell six different products, these six, in two regions. And we want to understand how the performance has been since 2011 uh, for any particular year. So here is our interactive sales chart. What you can do is it shows the sales in all regions by product in 2004. So you can see in 2004 how various products have failed. Now I can click on any product name, for example, Nutribars, and I can see the yearly breakup of the products in both North and South regions, North with the blue color and South with the green color. So I can see where each of these regions are uh, with respect to every year. And I can see that in 2010, uh, North seems to have done more than South, but every other year South is doing a better job for the product Nutribars. I can pick up another product like chocolates or chocolate chips. Similarly, I can change the year by just clicking on the year number there. I would be able to show the data only for that year. And right now the chart is being shown for all regions that is both North and South included, but I can show the chart only for North or only for South. So that is how the little uh, interactive chart works. It lets you pick any year or a region or a product and based on those combinations the chart information would show up. In case you want to understand this chart a little better you can also show help. So you know where to click for example uh, this particular column lets you pick an year, this will let you pick a region, this will let you pick a product and this little column here that shows the region wise breakup of product sales. Now how does this particular chart work? Let me take the next three to five minutes and explain that to you in brief detail. Uh, we have all the data in in a table format. So I'll just expand this. You can see that I have called this data as TBL sales from the design tab here. So you can change the name of the table from there as well. And this data goes on like this. Every year we would be adding the data. Just the breakup for North and South. Remember we have not included the all region sales because it is just a sum of north and south. So there is no need to enter additional data point here. But if you have got six regions, then you could do that and all regions would be sum of six regions. Now from this chart, there are a couple of mysteries that uh, we need to figure out. For example, uh, the bars here are, they can be for a particular region or for both regions, but they always belong to one of the 11 years that user select. So if I select 2004, I need to fetch the data only for 2004 and the regions could be all south or north. So if you go to the calculations tab, you would see that there are three things that we fetch up front, which is what is the selected year that user have chosen, or what is the product and what is the region. Product is used to show the product wise breakup of sales by year. Uh, so if I click on Choco Chips, I want to show the breakup of sales of Choco Chips in North and South region for each of those 11 years. So that is that. There are a lot of things going on here. I don't want to get into all the finer details, but uh, let me just turn on the formula bar so you can read any formulas here. And the first thing is product wise sales. This is the chart that you are seeing here. Uh, it has two series, North, South all regions three series and we just use a sum ifs formula and we are going to sum up the sales in the TBL sales table subject to the year equal to the year that user has picked and product is equal to the product name that is shown in the column inside and region is the region that user has picked it is in C8 so it will be north to south whereas for all regions it is just a sum of these two. So no, no more sum if formula for that. We just sum, the, sum both values and we get the all region number. Now, in order to make the chart, even though this chart looks simple, there are a couple of things going on here. This chart, if I select the data for this chart, you would notice that it has four series. So all north, south, all regions and highlighted. Everything is loaded onto the chart in one go, but we disable north, all regions when south is selected. So if I click on all regions, you would notice that only all regions data is fetched, whereas south and north are fed with hash NA, meaning that chart would not get any data. So even if the series is there, it won't show up. So that is how we are able to tell Excel that when I click on all regions, show the bars for all regions. And since they're formatted with this color, 
that would show up whereas north is in that color and south is in this color so these are all different series uh, even though it looks like the chart color is changing it is just that we are turning off one series and turning on the other series now let's go back and uh, there is one little piece of extra puzzle that is highlighting one particular bar to indicate that this is the product that I have chosen to sh show the yearly breakup. For that what we have done is we have added an extra series called as highlighted and this is just a new formula that we are asking Excel. So highlighted will be the product name that user has chosen. In this case it is choco chips. So whenever the choco chips is chosen um, only that value we will show for the corresponding series which is shown in the chart so if it is south it will be 1940 whereas if it is all regions the corresponding value from all regions will be fetched again a very simple formula you could figure out uh, this in your mind which is just a simple index and match combination the chart title itself is a dynamic title that is constructed by using a text like this sales in whatever region that user has picked by product and whatever year that user has selected. So we construct a text like this and if I change the year and region combination you can see that sales in south by product 2008 will be the title. Now I take this cell I know that this is in G17 here and I can put a text box inside the chart that is a text box. Uh, I think it's not even text box it is a cell and we point that out to G17 in calculations so that the title will be shown here. Similarly we use SUMIFS formula to calculate the yearly breakup and then make a chart like this that shows yearly breakup for both north and south for the selected product and we use the range of this chart which is from uh, 31 to 41 rows uh, to use a picture link that that is kind of embedded here. I use it picture link because initially I thought I can turn on and turn off this chart but uh, I have no longer uh, used that logic. So that is how these things work which is fetching the numbers and showing them showing them in the chart. But there is one more piece of puzzle which is how do I know which cell I am clicking. So if I click on 2002 I want the year to change to 2002. So how does that work? Well, there are three ranges in this worksheet. This is the range called PLST years, P for picking list of years. Uh, this is PLST regions. Okay, so I think that is PLST regions. Mm. Yep, yeah. and that is PLST products. Three regions are there, and there is a simple macro. What that does is whenever user selects a cell so on this worksheet, the worksheet uh, interactive sales chart, uh, we have a worksheet selection change event that gets triggered. So whenever I click on any cell in this worksheet, uh, the one behind, this macro is run and we are checking whether uh, user, the cell that user has picked, active cell belongs to P LST years. If that is the case then whatever the year that you have selected we are assigning into the range value VAL year picked. Similarly VAL region picked and VAL product picked. These are three simple ranges named ranges that get the year value, region value and product value that user has selected. Now if you go to the calculations you notice that that is the value year picked, value product picked and value region picked. So. I can show this to you interactively by clicking on the calculation tab and then view new window. So I have a new window with the calculations uh, view and I'll just uh, resize that and I'll move it like this. So you can see calculations and the dashboard simultaneously. Let me just resize this a bit. Oops, that's too big so it won't fit in and now we are good. So here is the dashboard and you can notice that as soon as I click on year 2003 this cell gets updated 2003 and if I select region south here it gets south, south and if I choose a different product that product gets updated. 
these three are the cells that change first and these cells just refer to the previous uh, name range uh, so we pick that there is really no reasons to use uh, two sets of cells I started using these three in all my formulas and then assigned these three for the macro so macro updates these three and formulas fetch values from here so if you select that and if you go to formulas and just say trace dependence you would notice that all the formulas are picking the year value from here whereas this gets the value from that so this is the one that determines everything I'll just remove those arrows because uh, I want to show you more and I'll just remove the extra window and resize my worksheet so that is how the interactive sales chart is done it uh, combines uh, several techniques that is using a simple worksheet selection change event to figure out which click cell I have clicked on and use that value and then uh, everything else is driven by those using a cell to show the chart title and using four series in the chart and just showing one of them at a time so that you get this effect of colors changing and values coming in and going out for the remaining piece of puzzle which is how do I highlight the particular year cell when when I click on 2009 you can see that only 2009 is showing in a different color so is the region and product name this is very simple once you once you find out which year and which region and which product is clicked all we have to do is select these cells go to conditional formatting and I'll just click on manage rules and I'm telling Excel that whenever I have picked a product you just highlight it in bold and fill it with a background color the same logic for the years if the year matches the year that I have clicked on show it in black color with thick bold formatting and a background fill so that is how our interactive sales chart is done if you like this particular tutorial I invite you to sign up for our newsletter so that you can get more of these type of articles every week and also uh, <clears throat> if you want to learn how to do these kind of things yourself I invite you to join my Excel and VBA class it's quite a comprehensive program that teaches you how to create dynamic charts like this and uh, use VBA to power them so that users can do what they want thank you so much for taking time to watch this I really appreciate it and I wish you a great day ahead bye bye